Social stories are a really important tool for children who have autism. It can really help to prepare for future events that they may not have attended before. It can help with anxiety about change and new events and it can also really make a difference to any changes that may occur for their future life. Let's say for example, this child is going to be attending a camp. So what we can do is create a social story that shows lots of pictures about what the camp looks like. There can be sentences relating what the day-to-day -day activities may be. And it can also let them know that they're going to be coming home and they will be safe and their family will be home to meet them. Let me in these future pages show you an example of a social story that I've created. So as you can see from the first page, it has a picture of the child, it has the logo of the camp that he's going to be attending and a very simple sentence saying James is going to camp. So on the second page, we're going to talk about the camp that James is going to. So for example, James is going on camp to Blackwood and James is going with his classmates and his teacher guy. It's really important to assure the children that they are going to have a good time at camp. So reinforce the kinds of feelings that you want them to experience. So I've said here, I'm going to have a great time at camp. And again, with another picture of the child. It's really important to show some of the environment. So here I've shown the kitchen table and also where they might be might play in a lounge area and what that might look like and this will help them to familiarize themselves ahead of time so when they actually go to the camp they walk into these spaces and even though it's a photo they'll at least see the table that's familiar and in the lounge room the chairs and that play game that is familiar to them so they won't feel so disorientated. Now this one's extremely important to see where the child is going to be sleeping. So James is going to sleep in a bunk bed in the same room as his friends. So I have again a picture of the bunk bed and a sentence explaining who he's going to be sleeping with and he can see again what those bunk beds look like. These are the play areas and James is going to be able to see that there's some fantastic play areas and so this should give him some excitement about going and something to look forward to. I've given him some additional information. There's so much to do on camp including bush work, walking. There's also a cool night walk where we could get used to colourful lights. Now I might show him the picture of these lights and explain to him that at night there will be special torches that they'll get to shine and how, how much fun it will be the kinds of wildlife that they might see like the birds and it, it prepares ahead of time so that they have some idea of what to expect which should hopefully decrease their anxiety about going. Now on this camp we are going to visit a place called Sovereign Hill and this is an old gold mining town that has now been made into a tourist attraction. So I've given James some pictures of what Sovereign Hill looks like and therefore he will know what to expect when he goes there and he will we'll also have some conversation about the old time looks and what, the way people are dressed and some of the things that he might see. We're going to try to pan for gold because you can do that at Sovereign Hill and it's lots of fun and the kids have a really good time doing that. So. Before we go, we'll, we will talk about Sovereign Hill and what it means to be going gold mining and how the people used to do it in time before and how they're going to hold the pan and use the pan and it gives them some idea of what to expect and it won't be too daunting for them. They'll also be able to see that there's horse and carriage where tents where people used to sleep and this will hope, hopefully will sort of give them some curiosity about what they're going to say when they go to Sovereign Hill. And they can also see that they can have a really good time.
because one of the important things about a social story is not only to prepare but also to encourage and motivate so that they they do want to go because a lot of times children don't want to go to things because they just don't know what to expect so the whole idea of the social story is to take away any of the fears and illusions that they may have it's important to let James know that after the trip to Sovereign Hill, we are going to go back to Blackwood because he may expect that they would go back home or back to school. So it's important to let him know that, no, they will be going back to Blackwood and they'll be sleeping in the bunk bed again for another night. And then the most important thing is to let James know that on Wednesday we come back home where I'll see mum, his sister Caitlin and his dad and it takes away his anxiety about when he's going to see his family again. So I hope that gives you some idea of how to do a social story. I used the application Keynote on my iPad. It's extremely easy to do. And as you can see, you can prepare this for any kinds of situations and especially for those big events and big changes that are going to be occurring in the child's life.